American freedoms will be on the ballot in November, stressed President Joe Biden during a campaign event in Atlanta, Georgia. Ahead of the state's primary election Tuesday, he reminded voters of the track record of his Republican rival, former President Donald Trump, on abortion rights. He came to office determined to see Roe v. Wade overturned. In fact, he brags about it. Well, he got his wish. And states are passing bans to criminalize doctors, forcing rape and incest victims to leave their states to get help. But Georgia, Biden argued, can help shield women's reproductive rights. Send me a Congress that supports the right to choose, and I promise you, I will restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land again. Trump also campaigned Saturday, but in northwest Georgia, where he strongly criticized Biden's recent State of the Union address. Whether you are a Republican, an independent, or a disillusioned Democrat, of which there are many, all you had to do is watch that horrible State of the Union. Crooked Joe Biden talked about Ukraine before he talked about America. Joe Biden should not be shouting angrily at America. America should be shouting angrily at Joe Biden. The former president also decried Biden's immigration policies, citing the murder of nursing student Lakin Riley on February 22nd. She allegedly died at the hands of a Venezuelan immigrant who entered the United States illegally. He was an illegal migrant. And he shouldn't have been in our country, and he never would have been under the Trump policy. Biden has implemented a formal policy that illegal aliens who intrude into the United States are granted immunity from deportation. Biden, who used the word illegal during his State of the Union address to refer to Riley's alleged murderer, later apologized and Saturday defended his own immigration record. I introduced a comprehensive, a comprehensive plan to fix our immigration system, secure our border, provide a pathway for citizens, for dreamers and their families, farm workers, essential workers who helped us through the pandemic and are part of the fabric of our community. What the weakened remarks of both presidential hopefuls had in common was the sense of urgency for voters to show up at the polls and help them become their respective party's presidential nominees. And I ask you to join us on the noble quest of saving our country, saving our country. Together we will turn the page forever on the miserable nightmare of the Biden presidency. It's a contest between competing forces in the battle for the soul of this nation. Between those who want to pull America backwards and those who want to move America to the future. Hawaii, Mississippi, Washington and Georgia will be holding primaries on Tuesday. Earning all the delegates at stake or just a fraction of them could hand over a presidential nomination win for either candidate. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.